I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. The exact model is a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro 16 ACH 6A. That information can be found on the bottom sticker on the bottom of the laptop or you might have it tattooed or engraved right on the casing. It says right in here model name Legion 5 Pro 16 ACH 6H. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can add or remove or upgrade the storage in here. This one comes with a 500 gig and the other version with one terabyte SSD in there. You can only put an NVMe M.2. You cannot put any 2.5 inch SSDs or mechanical drive in here. I'll show you in a second. You can upgrade this one to uh, two four terabyte SSDs with no problem and it will work just fine we have done it in the past and in this video we're just going to keep the main storage that has the windows and everything in it and we're just going to add another four terabyte ssd which is a uh, this crucial one in here so if you just want to add this storage you don't have to do any other configuration it's just going to show up as a secondary drive it's just like a usb drive that you plug in put your files and stuff right in there but if you want to replace the main one you have to create your Windows USB boot drive. I'll make that link in the video description once you want to create it. And then once you create your Windows USB drive, then you can just plug it in here and install Windows with no problem. I also made a video how to install the Windows properly on your Lenovo laptop without getting any of those bloatware installed. But if you just want to add extra storage, that's what we're going to do in here. We're just going to upgrade to a higher capacity, add extra capacity. All right. Tool that I'll be using is an iFix screwdriver set as these are one of the best screwdrivers out there and we're going to use a phillips double phillips zero i think it is zero or double zero is zero phillips number zero if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools if not just get the basic set just like me and grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers with this two on hand we're going to get it started first i'll put a workshop tile on the bottom i don't want to scratch or anything even my table screen but I still gotta put it on top. All right, so what are we gonna do down here? First, we're gonna remove the four screws in the front end of the laptop. These are the short screws. And then we're gonna remove the long screws, which are the mid on the sides and four at the back. Those are the long screws. So there are two types, short ones and the long screws. Keep them in a different pile so you don't mismatch them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a commentary. I appreciate that. All right, so we're gonna remove these screws right from here. All right, once we remove the screws, what you wanna do, you wanna grab your depending to guitar pick. Even if it's a plastic one, I know that the main I.O. sides are at the back, so I'm not going to stick the guitar pick in here so I can damage the motherboard or create a short. Even if it's a plastic one, you can damage the ports. So what are you going to do? We're going to start from the front that we know that we have the battery in the front. You're going to start from one corner in the front end. We're going to stick it right in there, just like that. And we're going to twist it backward, and we're going to hear those click sounds. We're going to work ourselves in the front. I'll put my finger in this so it doesn't go back down all the way. I'm not stressing it. We did the front. I'm gonna do the side right in here, all the way here. And now I'm not gonna pull more because I'm, I see an tension right in here. I, I can just crack the case, so I don't wanna do that. I wanna stick the guitar pick right under this black cover right in here, right there, okay? And then I wanna twist it, and I see that it is releasing these three clips right in there. One, two, three clips. So once we do that, right by the vents right in here, we're going to do the same thing right in the other side. You want to grab it, and you want to stick it right in there. There you go. You got three clips right in there. Once we have those ones released, all you want to do, you want to grab from the front, wiggle around, and push it towards the back, and the bottom cover will come loose. All right. And right away here, we can see the battery, the Two space for the heat sinks for the NVMEs. This one I can already see the NVME is right underneath this one, so I knew, I knew that I don't have to replace it, but I will show you guys how to remove it. It's the same thing like in here. So I'm not gonna do this one, I'm just gonna show you how to add it. By adding is the same thing, just removing it. 
So most people are like, oh, you must disconnect the battery to do this. You do not need to disconnect the battery to do this service. But I can see this screw is really close to these components right in here. So if you want to open up this screw, you can just by accidentally drop the screw right over and create a short. So to be in a safe site, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can disconnect the battery by pulling this jack. Hold it. There's a tiny, I don't know if you guys can see, this air lobes right in here. By pulling this air lobes back towards the battery, and the battery will get disconnected. Now you can safely go ahead and remove the screws, but again, it's not necessary, absolutely. But if you are really careful, but if you're not, sure, go ahead and disconnect. So you're gonna remove one screw, two screws, and three screws right in here. And we can grab this heat spreader, bring it up, and we can see that there is this, uh, what do you call it? All thermal paste right in here. I mean thermal pad. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab the new SSD that it comes with a screw that we do not need because they do actually nicely provide us one screw right in there. So we're gonna remove this four terabyte from here. We're gonna bring it up. And we are going to insert, make sure the cut matches the cut right on the dam in 45 degree inside the jack all the way in there. It clicks in and then push it down, hold it down, it will come up and put that tiny screw that you removed from there. All right. And what you want to do, you want to put the heat sink right over. And put the three screws right on top and now once you turn on the windows if you don't see the uh, partition the new partition four terabyte in there you want to go to disk management and just create a new drive on this one if you want to remove the main one same thing like the other one just the opposite remove three screws remove the heat sink remove the screw And all you want to do is just pull it backward. Just pull it backward and it will come. This one, it is a Samsung 500 gig. So you can put another four terabyte in here, but then you have to install the windows again. Installing windows, it takes literally about, I will say five, 10 minutes. And with a, another 20 minutes windows update for the drivers and you're set to go with no problem. And if you download the same windows, your license will be activated automatically because it's based on the motherboard. There's no nothing to back up or anything like that, except your file. So there we have it. So what are we gonna do right now? Put the heatsink on top, grab the battery connector, and we are gonna put it in front of the case, and you're gonna push it straight inside the connector. So you're gonna grab the bottom cover, Bring it down from the back side, from the I.O. side towards the front, so you can scoop those ports. Squeeze the front, the side, make sure you do nice click sounds. And to finish it off, put the short screws in the front and the longer screws from the mid towards the back. And this is how you can upgrade or uh, replace your storage for Legion 5 Pro laptop. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish opening up the bottom screws.